Uh, so choking, there's numerous elements to it. So there's the psychological element. Um, basically what happens, you're in performance and you don't have the resources and it, it's a pretty horrible feeling. Um, so mentally, physically, um, usually there's responses of your, your thoughts start racing and you don't perform nearly as well. It's actually a, a, can be a catastrophic performance. Um, so when I meet with athletes and we talk about um, maybe they're having problems with choking, um, I try to frame it actually positively. And so for an athlete to choke, it's because one of the things that needs to be there is that they care so much. So we work from that aspect, sort of uh, approaching it from a positive aspect. So you obviously care about the sport very much, you care about this competition very much. Um, how can we develop some things, um, usually maybe change their thought process? So if they're thinking, um, I hope this doesn't happen, um, I really hope I can do this, a lot of the times it's avoidance thinking, so how can we get them thinking, okay, what do you want to do, and break down those sort of long-term thoughts that might they might not have as much control over to shorter-term things that they have more control over. So maybe it's moving your feet. One of the things that stops happening is footwork. So usually people uh, freeze up a little bit. So how can you get your feet moving? How can you calm yourself down, get some breath back into your body, and that'll relax you. So things like that, um, but knowing that everyone usually goes through that, especially if your sport means something to you. So frame it from a positive aspect and then sort of break it down from there.